Yo, yo. Okay. So, let's see. So I don't know if you remember our first science class when we wrote in some boxes all of the steps in science. So the first one was observe. Observe, right. So you know, here it says scientists often ask questions about what they observe, right? So that is our first first step. What does observe mean? When somebody observes anything, I, a flower, what are they doing? They are like, you know, smelling the flowers to get information, tasting the flowers to get information, seeing the flower, about the nectar, pollen, and you know, like you can have like testing and experience a flower. Uh, so is this called observe? Like you just take a blender and blend the flower, and you take the juice to see if it smells good. So if it smells bad, you apply some perfume and to see if it's a good shampoo. <laughs> okay, well, observe, like you said, uses the five senses, right? So see, hear, smell, taste, and touch. Okay, so by doing all of these things, you are observing, right? So um, in many cases, you can't really, um, for example, if you're looking at, if you're observing a rock, you can't really taste the rock. I mean, you could, right? But I don't think that would really help you much in your question or whatever you're trying to answer, right? You can't hear the flower, I mean, the, the rock, unless you drop it and you want to know how it, you know, how it sounds. Yeah, so it just really depends on what your question is, right? Because what if your, what if your question is, how do how does this flower change colors in three months or throughout the year okay so if that's your question what is the would you really do you think it would be important to listen to the flower or to taste the flower or to smell it if your question is how does this flower change colors now i think that and the important observation is to like see the flower but if you are blind um, i don't know what to do yeah blind. Yes. yeah so for this question you would um just kind of really look at it right to see how mm -hmm. it's it's changing so observe can be very different you know depending on what you are trying to answer okay so on the next pages, we're going to see inquiry skills. So what is a skill? A skill um, for ten you trained before and uh, a bad guy come. Oh, hello, little kitty. <sighs> and you just have skills. You just have, 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 have. Okay, yeah. So skills can be many, many things, right? So if I tell you Alita, what are some skills that you have, right? I can dance ballet. There you go. That's one yes, skill. And golf. And learning English with us a thing. Very good. So all of those are skills. So there are things that you practice, right? You learned and now you can do. So all of those things are skills. So inquiry is a type of skill. Okay. So it's something that you know, I can't just go up to somebody and start asking questions and looking for answers. I need to know what question I am going to answer so I know what exactly to ask, right? Because what if I'm trying to know, what if I'm trying to find out um, what type of food you have in your fridge? I wouldn't be asking you questions like, so Alita, how's the weather outside? Cause that wouldn't help me right yeah yeah so i re it's a skill that you need you really need to think about okay this is my question 
or this is what I'm trying to find out. What are those questions that I'm going to ask to get my answer? Okay. Okay. So mostly people don't want to see them the fridge, their fridge. So it's impossible. But I think I know a way. So pretend you're a leader. You, I, I'm the scientist. I want to see the fridge. All right. Oh hi, Sophia. Look at the sun. It's pretty hot. May I stay in your house and like talk with you about ideas that I become a scientist and I'm good at it. Okay. Yeah. So, but the thing is, what if you are trying to find out what is in my fridge, but you are there? You're in China and I'm in America. So you can't really come and open my fridge, right? So what type of questions would you ask me to find out what I have in my fridge? So as a thing, yeah, can you open your fridge? But that's pretty rude in China. <laughs> that's rude. <laughs> open uh, all the fridge, you see them, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I think you know some questions I would ask would be like, Alita, are there any fruits or vegetables in your fridge? And then if you answer yes, then I would say, okay. Are there any red fruits? If you answered yes, I would be like, "Oh, is there an apple in your fridge?" So, do you see how I choose which questions I'm going to ask to, you know, get closer and closer to my answer?